it's Jenny from Mummy Mishaps and today is day nine of Vlogmas. Um, I was a bit stuck as to what to do today but I thought I would talk about um, presents and Father Christmas and things like that because Jensen came home with a letter from school which he wrote himself which is very sweet so I'm going to read it out to you because I think it makes me laugh so he's put Dear Santa please may I have a Hashimol it's funny how he spelled them but it's really cute Please may I have a camera. Oh, I don't know why he wants a new camera, because he had one last year. Please may I have some sweets. Please may I have an electric toothbrush. <laughs> That's something I wasn't aware of. And please may I have a play watch. Love from Jensen Tucker. So there we are, that's what he's come home with. Um, but as you can see from his list, there's a couple of things on there that are obviously quite um, tech logically battery operated there aren't anything he wants like a do um, not dolls uh, cars or a train track or something they're all very much um, electrical items or sweets so that's um, his little list which is quite sweet Burton as you might have heard from yesterday he wanted um, a scooter wasn't it and he wanted a smartwatch as well when I was a kid I can't remember I think I used to get lots of things like Barbie dolls um, board games and things like that. I didn't really have anything um, electrical wise. My brother did. He had like the speak and spell and he had like a scare electrics and all the sort of gadgety things, whereas um, I had more sort of toys that I could use my imagination with. And talking of which, IKEA have sent me some um, products um, to review and I thought I'd feature them today so it's kind of relevant. Um, basically, they've launched this range called, I have to try and pronounce this correctly. I'm going to put it up so that in case I get it wrong, Hemahos. It's a role play collection which is, the aid, which is to aid the development of children and encouraging them to use their um, imagination rather than relying on technology. So some of the things that I've been sent, I'm going to show you this now, is this huge pencil cushion. As you can see it's pretty big. And this sells for just £12, which I think is actually quite good value because it is really, really massive and that would be really fun to have um, in a child's bedroom or maybe in a playroom if they have such a thing. That's that one. And then something else I've been sent is this really cute little portal, a bit like a luggage. It doesn't actually have real wheels. You can hold it like this. So again, it's obviously for children imagine to go on holiday. Our two love pretending they're going on holiday. They quite often get their chunkies down out of the wardrobe and pack them up full of stuff and then pretend they're going on holiday. So I can see how this would really appeal to children. And um, if I open it up and show you. So you open it up and you've got quite a lot of space inside. An area there for putting things in. And on the front, it's got a little pocket there. And a little pocket there. So I think that would make a really nice toy. Might not be robust enough for my two. Oh, and it even collapses as well, so it's quite easy to pack if you were going anywhere in the car. I think that's quite fun. And then also in the range, they have this alarm clock so you can make up your own time. Lunch time. And then on the back it's got um, pretend dials to set the time. So that's that one. And that, this one actually is only is £8. I don't have a price for the hold all, but this one, this nice cushion is just £8. And again, it's very soft and children will have great fun pretending that's their alarm clock next to their bed. And then, Lastly, I've been sent this book, again it's £4.50, and it's all it's called Let's Go, says the pencil, so it's obviously about this pencil coming to life, and um, it's about various things from the range, there's that clock I just showed you, from the Hem Hemholz range, going on a little adventure, lots of lovely colourful illustrations. So, I think that would make, these would make some nice gifts for children this Christmas. So, and the other good thing that IKEA are doing, I'm going to have to read this off because I haven't learnt it off by heart, is um, 
IKEA are starting um, a new campaign called the Good Cause Campaign, Let's Play for Change. And for every item in this children's play range that's sold between the 20th of November up until Christmas Eve, the IKEA Foundation will make a, d a donation helping to protect children's imaginations. So they'll be working with charities such as Save the Children, War Child, UNICEF, Room to Read, Handicap International and the Special Olympics and the funds raised will support some of the poorest communities in the world helping to aid children's development and learning in uh, equal participation for sports and of course very importantly for play. So um, it's worth, so not only will they make great presents this Christmas but you're also helping to date towards a great cause and if you follow the hashtag like yeah. here let's play um, you can find out um, more about what's going so on. So what have your children asked for this Christmas? Do you find that it's mostly technology based or is it a lot of role playing and using their imagination creativity? Um, it's quite interesting I think how times have shifted because I'm sure again when I was a child um, these sort of the hatchy mole or the furbies um, I'm trying to think what the equivalent was I think I might have had a doll that you put a disc in and it would talk um, but that's probably about as um, extravagant as it went and like I said Nick with his speaking spell that was quite the thing back in the 80s but um, if you leave a comment below and uh, let me know uh, what your children have asked for then um, that'd be really great to know so thank you for tuning in and I'll see you again tomorrow <laughs>